students welcome back in our today's class students in last video we have done our exercise 7.2 which was very easy yes and i hope that you all have done the exercise questions very nicely now moving further our new exercise exercise 7.3 and now as we used to do the introduction about the exercise question before doing it okay so in this exercise only one topic will deal with that is equivalent fraction every time is asking about find out the equivalent fraction of 3 by 6 or find out the uh, equivalent fraction for this number or or, uh, or you can say they are asking to you are they are the equivalent fraction means they are talking about the equivalent fraction so what is equivalent fraction now see as name suggests equivalent equal whatever will be the value whatever will be the number the value should be same as the last for example see if we have a one example very quickly let's take one uh, we calculate it 3 by 6 suppose i have 3 by 6 now question i'm telling you that 3 by 6 what is the equivalent fraction for 3 by 6 okay multiples everybody knows multiples multiples three multiples are 3 6 9 12 what you are doing three ka table in the same manner equivalent fraction because we have in a fraction number okay so in equivalent fraction as well will multiply and divide with the same number numerator also as well as denominator also then we we'll easily find out the equivalent fraction so 3 by 6 equivalent fraction 3 into 1 6 into 1 that is 3 by 6 now 3 by 6 into 2 into 2 Three to the six, six to the twelve. Now three by six go multiply with three into three. Three to the nine, six to the eighteen. So three by six equivalent fraction. Three by six, six by twelve, nine by eighteen. They all are the equivalent fraction of three by six. And equivalent fraction is they all are equal. Means three by six is equals to six by twelve. This is equals to nine by eighteen. How? How means whenever we cut it, a cut means simplest form. Students in mathematics, one term is there, convert into simplest term. अब simplest term क्या है? Cut करना means divide करना. अब वो भी divide हम करेंगे with the same number. See six by two. If I am cutting it with three table, or you can say two two table or three table your choice. Two three is a six and Two six are twelve. See here is three by six. Here is three by six. Nine eighteen. Three three is a nine. Three six is a eighteen. See after cutting it, after reducing it, we got the same value. Three by six. Three by six. Three by six. All the terms are different. Six by twelve. Nine by eighteen. But the answer at the last we got same. Three by six. They are called equivalent fraction. They all are equivalent. And how we have to find out? With this manner, in a multiple one manner, but we multiply and divide with the same number. Here also we have done see we have divided with three, divide with three, divide with three. That is why we got three is a nine and three is a twelve. Okay, so this is called equivalent fraction. On the basis of this, only we will deal the equation of our exercise seven point two. You will be better understand by solving the equation. Okay, students. So very quickly, let's start our exercise questions. Question we have: Write the fraction. We have to write down the fraction for these figures. So let's start. You know how to write the fraction? Down total number of term. How many equal parts? Two equal parts. And fraction one is twelve. So one by two. Now second one fraction for this total number is two. And twelve is two. Fine. The third one is one, two, three, four, five, six. Total number of parts six. And how many are filled? Three. Or you can say how many are empty? Three. So if you can see, they all, uh, you can say figure, they are equally divided and they are equally filled, equally empty. Either you can write down the fraction of for empty part or for filled part. The fraction is same only. Yes. Now next is total parts eight. And how many are filled? Four. So what find the fraction? We have it in the fraction. Now what is asking further? Are all fraction equivalent? Can you say every fraction equivalent? Hai? Yes. Have it uh, from the figure it understood only because all the figures are equally divided. But they are 
equal. Let's have a look. 1 by 2. They are not cutting only. See 2 by 4. 2 2 is a 1. 2 2 is a 4. 1 by 2 came. 3 by 6. 3 1 is a 3. 3 2 is a 6. 1 by 2 came. 4 1 is a 4. 4 2 is a 8. It means if 1 by 2 is equal to 2 by 4, is equal to 3 by 6, is equal to 4 by 8. Yes. All fractions are equivalent. That's it. Got students? How we will find out the equivalent fraction? Okay, so B part also we have, this was, B part will be homework for you. B part you will do by your home. What students? Uh, in such a manner only you have some figures, you have some goals into it, you see from the book. Every time whenever you are going to do the math work, you just open the book in front of you. Don't forget it. Okay students, so this is all about the question number one. Now moving uh, further, our question number two. Question number 2, again you have in a figure form only, okay? So that will be also homework for you. It means question number 2 is also homework for you. And that question I am going to discuss over here, that is, uh, you have to just match. Like man, in the match the following manner, you have to match the figures if they are equivalent or not. Okay? You just try to do. If there is any problem, you can, you may ask to me. Okay? So now uh, moving further on question number 3. I am going to start question number 3. Question number 3 is replace this box with a correct number. Fine. So, see what you have in the question. 2 by 7 is equal to 8 by, this. it is a box. I mean, number should come over here. Now, is equal to is there. Is equal to means they both number should be equivalent. Means equivalent fraction we have to find out. Okay, whenever there will be equal, it means you have to find out the equivalent fraction only. If they are asking or not, you have to find out. Now see, you have 2, you have 7 and here is given to you 8. But here is nothing is there. Now 2, 8. How do you come? 2, 4 is 8. When we multiply 2 with 4, then you will get 8. 2, 4 is 8. Now it is an equivalent fraction. So it means 7 also will multiply with 4 only because we will multiply with the same number the denominator as well as the numerator. Yes? So 7 for the 28. It means in the place of box the answer is 28. That's it. Now moving for the next part. 45 upon 60. 45 upon 60. Is equals to 15. Now see students. 45 is equal to 15. How it will come? 45 to bada, 15 to chote. Then how will come? When we divide with 3. 45. Yeah, you can say 15 is a 45. Here it is multiplied. Already 3 either either. So it will change its sign. It will get divided. So if we divide 3 divided by 45, then you will get 15 only. 3 1 are 3 and 3 5 are 15 students. This you can think about. There means this you can think by yourself only. Either multiply it will come over here or divide. If 1 you got, then second one ultimately you will get. Fine? So 60 divided by 3 will get 3. You can divide 8 also in the rough work. 3 and 60. 3 2 is 6 and 1 0 as it is. So it means... 20. So it means in the place of this box you will get 20. What student? So this is all about your equivalent fraction. You just need to see either you will multiply with any number or you will divide with any number. Jo bhi number aapko given hai, uska dekh hai, kabhi niche ka you will get ultimate. Fine? Now see the C part. See the C part. What C part we have? 18 upon 24 is equals to box upon 4. Now, denominator part is given to you with both number. Numerator is missing. So, what? Method is the same only. Okay? 24. 18 upon 24. Now, 
with whom of the set bigger term smaller term it means after going to divide only any any number you will get four only with whom but with six because four six are twenty four yaha is equals to means here if it is a multiply then it will come towards left hand side it will change its sign yes so six six divided by four is twenty four is four now the same number you will also divide so six two is eighteen it means in the place of box the answer is two very simple student it is just a game of a tables you think Either it will come divide or multiply. And else will be same only. Else will be very easy. But you just need to understand equivalent fraction means either you are going to multiply or you are going to divide same number only. It will come numerator as well as denominator. Okay, students. Three parts I have done. Two more parts are there. That will be homework for you. And that you will do by your own. So do it very properly. Okay. Now moving further, our question number four. Now question number four, we have find the equivalent fraction. This is the equivalent fraction of three by five. Three by five for equivalent fraction we have to find out. If only number was given to you, then you can just find out easily that three by five into one into one, three by five into two into two. That are and so on will be the equivalent fraction. But student. Here is condition is given to you. Like question number two, we have the denominator twenty, numerator twenty seven. Means different different condition is given to you. As in previous question, it was already mentioned to you in a you can say in, in an expression way. But here you will make an expression for that, and then you will do. But the method is just same. How? See, you have a number solution three by five. But according to a part, you have denominator twenty, so it is equal in fraction, so there would be equal. And denominator is given to you twenty, but in the numerator you don't know, so here would be box. Means we don't know. You can say x, you can say anything. So why I have made this? Because to recall you that we had the same such type of question in question number two. Yes. So either it will come in such a manner. In such a manner, the method will be same because equivalent fraction is asking. So let's start the solution. The same manner, three by five. You have twenty over here. You will do multiply or divide. Multiply by four. When you will multiply five four times, then you will get twenty. So then, see, it is just a table form. How you will write a table? Two one times is equal to two. No. It is just this only. So don't forget this equivalent fraction. It means this is the answer formula. And how this answer made by multiplying four. If the denominator is multiplied four, then numerator also be multiplied by four. So three four the twelve. It means in the place of box, what will come? Will come twelve. That's it. This is a uh, uh, this find equivalent fraction for. So.